Uh, hello everyone. I am Ruchi Kumar, Assistant Professor at Center of Excellence in Teacher Education at uh, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Mumbai. I'm the host for this Full Synergy uh, Teachers Workshop Series. And I welcome you all to this uh, session. And it's really nice to see uh, all of you uh, participating in this session. This is the second part of the School Synergy session. The first part was where uh, Sunil Bajaj ji, he shared um, a few ideas about developing 21st century mathematical skills among students. And in this second part, uh, for each of the School Synergy session, we have a second part. And in the second part, uh, we, uh, as teachers, try to build upon the ideas that were shared on the first session either by suggesting some sort of a design of an activity based on the session, uh, earlier session, or uh, we share our own experience of how we ourselves have uh, worked in our classrooms uh, to develop uh, those skills and those ideas among students itself. It is um, basically we thought of these kind of uh, sessions because we want to establish a bridge between what the ideas that are um, uh, developed or suggested at university level in mostly colleges of education, SCRT, uh, places like that, uh, and uh, the schools and the classrooms where actually teachers are working with students. Because, you know, we, we need to have a healthy exchange of ideas between both the groups. So uh, it is really nice to have all of you here. Um, and if you would like to introduce yourself, uh, you can put on your video for a few minutes and you can introduce yourself. If you're not, even if you're not able to uh, put on your video, we would really like to hear from you uh, that, uh, you know, what is your motivation? What is the idea that you want to share? And then we will go forward, okay? So who would like to go first? Whoever wants to speak can just raise their hands. Okay, just introduce yourself. Uh, Chitra Roda, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell me, I mean, uh, who you are, whether you're working in school or a teacher educator. What is yes, your... Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, myself, Chitra Rola. I am a, a, pre, I am a primary teacher uh, working in a pre, uh, Pavar public school, Pavai, and I'm working here from last eight years. And I really look forward uh, for this session, the, which is organized by CET this Mumbai. Uh, I have attended many of uh, sessions previously in the so it's really whatever uh, I get to learn here, it's really helping me a lot in the classroom, in my online classroom. And we get to learn many, many new things, uh, the, which is really required, the, the different skills we are learning, which is really required for, for our students. So thank you for conducting such uh, sa sessions for yeah. teachers. Thank you so much for sharing uh, this. And uh, Chitra, would you like to share an experience today? I would not ask you immediately. We will just first want to know if people want to share. Definitely, yeah. ma'am. Definitely, I will, uh, we will. I will see that what is uh, what. As, Did you attend as the last session? session? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. So will, uh, yeah, it was uh, by Anita, ma'am, uh, from Delhi. No. The okay. First Did you you attended the Bartalap uh, Anita Bartalap. session? Right. Okay. Yes. Yes. So yeah, that's a different uh, one. But uh, anyway, it is also about mathematics. So we would love to hear your ideas about uh, those sessions also. Right. Thank sure. you, Chandra. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Prishman sir, Prishman Khandekar, you can introduce yourself. Uh, hello, ma'am. Namaskar. Yes. Uh, ma uh, actually, I am madam. <laughs> हाँ मैम ये मैं टीसेक्स के जो कोर्स है मैम क्या बोल क्या बोला जाए हाँ हाँ कोर्स है कौन से कोर्स में है आप एनरोल एक्सपेरिमेंशल लर्निंग में एनरोल थी मैम और वो मैंने कंप्लीट कर चुका है और उसी के थ्रू मैं ये जो जो भी अभी सेशन चल रहा है टीस का सेनर्जी वाला उसको मैंने मैं कंटिन्यू अटेंड कर रही हूँ मैम पिछला सेशन भी मैंने अटेंड किया था 
वेरी गुड और वो मुझे बहुत रोचक लगा मैथमेटिक्स के लिए क्योंकि उन्होंने बहुत ही सरल तरीके से मैथ्स को अपने निजी जीवन में डेली लाइफ में उसको जोड़ना बताया और उसमें मैथ्स को सीखना उन्होंने बताया तो बच्चों के लिए काफी ये हेल्पफुल रहेगा टीचर्स के लिए भी ये बहुत हेल्पफुल हेल्पफुल रहेगा मैम इससे पहले भी वुमेन्स के लिए एक सेशन हुआ था मैम तो वो भी मैंने अटेंड किया हुआ था जेंडर पे हाँ हाँ जेंडर जेंडर वाला था वो बहुत अच्छा था मैम सेशन और मैं बेसिकली यहाँ ये हमारे कटे कल्याण से हूँ मैम वाइस प्रिंसिपल कैनियर वेरी गुड रियली नाइस टू नो दैट ब्रिजवान जी आपका नाम सुन के एक्सपीरियंस हमें बड़ा अच्छा लगा अगर आप यहाँ पे शेयर करना चाहती हैं पिछले जो सेशन हुआ था उससे प्रेरित होके अगर आपको भी कुछ आइडियाज आए हैं जो आप अपने आपको लगता है स्कूल में उनको किया जा सकता है सर के आइडियाज को बिल्ड करके तो प्लीज यहाँ पे जरूर शेयर करिएगा ओके थैंक यू सो मच श्रवंती वुड यू लाइक टू स्पीक ओके गो एट गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून मैन एंड ऑल and i've been associated with this and its school synergy workshops for all most more than i believe from last and i have also done few courses from okay aap bolie fir main bolungi ha ha it's okay shravanti ji please uh, uh, complete your point okay and also i'm doing couple more courses from this cool maths also has started and then last session yes it was very good regarding 21st century skills and maths mathematics i didn't get a chance to implement in the school because the school right now is closed for one week break so mm-hmm. we have middle school closed for uh, after the exams break so we would be starting the school again from march uh, sorry april 1st so that's it ma'am okay thank you so much Thank you, Shravanti, and you have thank been you, a regular ma'am. with us, and it's really nice to have you again. Thank you, ma'am. Thank with you. us, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Pradeep. Would you like to share? Ma'am. Good afternoon, Reena Vishwa. Ah, Reena, ma'am. Reena, ma'am. बोलिए, बोलिए. हाँ, जी. Ah, ma'am, government high school, Patari, Korba, me posted हूँ, और मैंने भी seated के बहुत सारे session attend किए, अलग अलग type के, जिसमें एक बार language learning भी था, एक बार वुमेन्स uh, के लिए भी था प्रोग्राम मैथ्स के स्किल के लिए भी था वो बहुत अच्छा लगा था मुझे जो कैलेंडर के ऊपर जो एक्सप्लेन किए थे ना सेवन डेज वाला वो बहुत अच्छा था नंबर लाइन पे जो एक्सप्लेनेशन था वो पढ़ाते समय जब बच्चों को स्पेशली नंबर्स के बारे में बताना होता है तो कुछ कुछ आइडियाज जो यहाँ पे हम लोग सेशन अटेंड करते हैं उससे आते हैं इसके लिए थैंक यू आशा करती हूँ कि आज भी आप अपने कुछ आइडिया शेयर करेंगे हम सबके साथ ताकि हम भी उनसे कुछ सीख सके लाइक टू गो नेक्स्ट आशा एस पी श्रेयोशी चक्रवर्ती राजू गोले सर सचिन मोहिते आप में से कोई भी हाँ आशा बोलिए Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Asha. I'm from Bangalore. I teach maths uh, for the middle school actually, uh, but uh, somehow I missed uh, last. Uh, uh, I actually attended only once, and uh, I wanted to attend last week's uh, uh, this mathematics uh, uh, program, but somehow I missed it. So yeah, I would like to hear more uh, ideas about what you did, uh, what you are doing uh, now, and I want some ideas from you. Are you uh, a member of School Synergy Teachers Forum Telegram group? No, so no, I can no. share the Telegram group yeah, link please. on the chat, and yeah. you can join that group. And we have we regularly share all the videos on YouTube okay. for all our sessions, and uh, sometimes even presentation also. So you will find the presentation as well as the YouTube video on that. Day. I'll yeah, yeah. Uh, share it in the uh, chat itself. In a few okay. minutes. Thank you, ma'am. Okay? Thank you. Somebody yeah. has forwarded the email, but uh, somehow I missed it. लास्ट कपल ऑफ मंथ आई वॉज आई वॉज ऑलवेज ज्वाइन दिस 
energy synergy programs okay uh, only last times i missed this lecture ma'am okay it's uh, okay i mean you can join the telegram group that i have shared the link and uh, you will be able to get the video there okay? yes ma'am okay uh, uh, lubna wasim would you like to unmute and introduce yourself dipti bhalla ya lubna go ahead Well, good afternoon. I am Lubna Rasim from Prozabad UP. This is for the first time I am joining Synergy Group, and okay. uh, and uh, excited to know many things. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So, Lubna, we have this in two parts. The first part is where the part, uh, facilitators share the ideas, and this is the second part of the uh, workshop where we teachers develop their ideas for this, and they share their ideas and experiences from the classroom. okay so this is something that teachers work on okay so uh now i'm opening up whoever wants to i because i can't keep track whom i have called and whom i have not called is there anyone who is still uh waiting to share waiting to give their introduction please go ahead and unmute and share it and then we will get on with the discussion itself I'm not sure if Hemanti or Sachin Mohite has shared or not. Ah, uh, ma'am, uh, I am Hemanti. Uh, yes. Actually, uh, I am uh, with the Synergy Group from 2019 since lockdown, oh. and okay. uh, I have done a lot of workshops uh, from here and as well as uh, uh, other uh, what online uh, in, uh, courses like uh, construct uh, technology. and mentoring and uh, teaching of mathematics and teaching of english language etc okay. so it is very helpful for my education uh, for my teaching because uh, i am in west from west bengal and i just uh, teach uh, up to uh, 12 twelfth standard english okay my okay. subject is english so okay. ma'am after this uh, group discussion and workshop and etc co coaching uh, online courses from teas uh, really it helps me for upgrading my education and i just make interest into this uh, again uh, for the uh, what in service capacity building for myself and okay. i have i have started to uh, what do ma in education again after english Okay, great, great. Uh, really nice to hear that you have been with us for a, such a long time, and uh, you feel that it has been helpful. It it really uh, helps to know also uh, if I mean uh, how it has been helpful because that is a motivation for me to continue doing these workshops. Otherwise, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Actually, yeah, before so that, yeah. before that, before the lockdown period, we are very much limited with our uh, knowledge. of teaching though i have done b ed from scottish church college mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there is less scope and uh, due to this uh, crisis maybe make i can say uh, we have upgraded mm -hmm. ourselves in various way now i am much more confident about uh, okay. teaching uh, with the technologies with um, what uh, even i have done a facebook page uh, for my students uh, for with Very my good. content Uh, yeah. and we inspired by this tata institute okay great really nice to hear about uh, teachers you know uh, doing so many things now and feeling confident uh, <clears throat> i i think the emrs group teachers also are upgrading themselves a lot they are in experiential learning course and a lot of them are also attending school synergy session so it's i mean uh, we are very much welcome teachers teacher educators student teachers all are welcome for these sessions so Man, let me start I, i want to say yeah. another thing that is very important because uh, uh, before uh, the this crisis actually we are very much confined with our subject only specifically okay. but uh, what happens in this time that i am much more interested with the mathematics and uh, okay. uh, science etc so there is no hard bound actually with the subject so now i can apply it with my students uh, of class 5 6 also with its uh, mathematical things because last week the sir has told that 2 uh, into 2 by 2 into 2 it is yes. really i have tried it in the class so they are very much enthusiastic about this uh, thing and they were enjoying actually okay that is really nice to hear that you know it has uh, made you go beyond the boundaries of the subject also 
वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस चित्रा रोला मैम प्लीज गो हेड यस मैम लाइक हेमंती मैम सेड इट्स पैंडेमिक इट हैज गिवन अस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू गेट कनेक्टेड विद द टीचर्स एंड टीचर्स कम्युनिटी थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड एंड गेट टू लर्न फ्रॉम देयर एक्सपीरियंसेस इट रियली हेल्प्ड अस अ लॉट so we are looking forward once the school will reopen and the children will start coming uh, with everyone's experiences and their sharing definitely we will be able to take our classes better so let's thank you yeah thank you so uh, let us start the discussion now so in this session we are going to now build up on the uh, whatever uh, was done in the previous session and that that was on 21st century learning skills so i still uh, sir had shared the uh, presentation with me i'll just quickly uh, go through the presentation once more to refresh our memory and then uh, you can share your ideas about how you can use this in the classroom any activity based on this you you want to think further or you can share your experience okay so i'm going to share the screen we discuss what are the 21st century skills and then uh, the three 21st century skills related to learning skill literacy skills life skills and then so literacy skills are related to critical thinking creativity collaboration communication uh, life skills are related to information media technology and the learning skills i oh i think i i said the wrong way i'm so sorry learning skills are critical thinking creativity collaboration and communication uh, literacy skills are information media and technology related and life skills are flexibility leadership initiative productivity and social skills so let us try to think of activities in which we can integrate these learning skills literacy skills as well as the life skills all together okay then uh, these are the four c's okay what is creativity what is collaboration i am assuming that this is something which is already clear to you in case it is not clear to anyone we can stop on that slide and we can uh, discuss that okay so this is where he asked us to compare the between machine and child and our expectation for mathematics performance and for learning and then he had given this very nice problem about perimeter and area so if the length is 8 cm and the breadth is 4 cm and uh, suppose you think of this rectangle as uh, you know uh i mean uh, you can also think of uh, shapes which can be uh, made using lots of squares and then you can generalize what is the in what way can it be calculated that how many squares are there in this uh, figure and for that he had arrived at this generalization uh, formula that you can think of it as 10 plus 8 plus 10 plus 8 and it can even be written as 2n plus 2 in the bracket n minus 2 shravati are you saying something teacher sir ah no ma'am i it, initially the screen was not visible but now it is visible ma'am okay and then he had suggested more uh, uh, there are many different ways in which the same thing can be done and this is a part of low floor and high ceiling task where you can find the uh, sum of these things and then this i think he had given more tasks but it's not here uh, they are not given in the slide so can we think of let's go to the first slide itself i think that is the most important one can we think of some task or some experience in which we are integrating these learning skill literacy skills and the life skills itself whatever your initial idea is uh, please i mean you can take a two minutes take two minutes to think about it and then uh, you can share it these three uh, are 21st century skills learning skills literacy skills and life skills 
so can you think of some activity or some experience in which all these three can be uh, developed ma'am uh, i have an idea uh, yeah. if uh, in the school there is a departmental store means a stationery store so yeah. for the class 8 students suppose i am thinking about them uh, if i tell them to go and to manage the departmental store for a for a day and uh, just that account sheet and balance sheet then definitely there i am going to include the creativity collaboration and as well as the information and technology and there must be the team work yeah okay so these kind of tasks definitely uh, uh, you can give so uh, let us think a little bit further you know if this kind of task is to be given to students first you know if every schools it may not be possible so how can you modify this task if the store is not there okay that can be an issue and uh, even if um, uh, a store is there and when you are uh, asking students to go there and manage it what are what are the different tasks that you can give to students what are the different concepts that they are learning whether it is of mathematics whether it is life skills itself what are the concepts they are learning we need to think about it a little bit more deeper so let's hear it from shravanti ma'am yeah uh, yes ma'am i did conduct this kind of an activity last uh, last before year Uh, mm -hmm. there is a, uh, a profit percentage cost uh, cost price selling price in class 7th and class 8 yeah. so in the in the class itself i have a photos i would like to share later in yeah. school synergy shop so we have created mm -hmm. a bank where is a accountant a cashier a manager a marketing person where customers come so they explain about the profit how to take a loan borrow a loan what do you mean by loan how do you mm -hmm. repay that loan a interest chart is made if for one year what could be the interest on the principal what yeah. there they can calculate principal plus uh, principal plus amount what is an interest what is simple interest so we have done this kind of an activity in the class itself so where we have made some pluck cards and made some bank this is a some abc bank kind of a thing where three four students were sitting as an accountant some people as a marketing and few students i made them as a customer made i asked them to write down the question suppose one have to take a loan for car to buy a car and one student have to uh, take a loan for building his house so what is it you are looking for so how what kind of a questions you ask the bank and what what would be the questions the bank require from you Uh, so what is the interest rate how much you have to pay per year or per month or what is the total interest you would be uh, paying on the total principal amount you have taken from the bank so this way they have understood about the uh, the whole concept of uh, uh, simple interest amount and uh, how the how the money can be borrowed from the bank we also got some few uh, uh, slips and other uh, uh, account kind of related papers from a bank where i have uh, some tie up with a nationalized bank near my school so we got the papers so we just explained them uh, showing that papers what is the loan application paper how to uh, open an account how to deposit deposit slip uh, and uh, how to take out the money and all withdrawal slip and everything ma'am Uh, thank you shravanti ma'am for uh, sharing all these ideas i so i think it is really nice that you actually do did very authentic activities you know these are called as authentic activities because it is not just for the mathematics take that you are doing these problems you are not just giving word problems but you are making uh, students engage in an activities which is very close to real life situation whether it is of loan whether it is of buying and selling whether it is a, a cost price selling price of a shop itself so these authentic activities help the students to understand the concepts more deeply you know because for first whatever you are able to relate with your everyday life you are able to uh, understand it much more deeply and secondly your motivation and interest increases a lot when these kind of activities are there and thirdly the students agency is enhanced you know students are doing lot of things themselves out of their own motivation it's not that just because teacher has told you to do something that you are doing it you know so that is uh, really uh, great to you know 
engage students in. And uh, also I would like you all to think a little bit more, you know, uh, of how these activities can be integrated in the mathematics curriculum. Uh, and, uh, you know, mostly uh, when we talk to other teachers, they say, you know, ma'am, it takes so much time. There is so much syllabus. How will we be able, able to complete the syllabus if uh, uh, there is, you know, if we keep on doing these kind of activities. Uh, so if you have any suggestions for them about this also, I think it would be very, very helpful. Chitra Rola, ma'am, uh, you have your hand raised. Please go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I would like to share uh, my experiences with primary uh, students, like for learning skills uh, in offline classes, we uh, plan activities, suppose as an example for the topic like measurement. So uh, uh, we use all the tools like a weighing machine, a balance machine, and whatever the tools required for the measurement. And we make groups in a group. We ask, we, and we make the groups of students and we tell them to do measure. One child is measuring, one child is noting down, and then we ask. So that's a hand-on experience for the students. Now for the literacy skill, uh, we, uh, use of uh, technology like a gamification like a use of a spinning wheel or through the animations uh, and all maybe sometimes uh, puppet uh, making the puppet uh, on uh, the recording of puppet and through ppt they're in a powerpoint presentation uh, where we like uh, for tens and ones uh, animation can be done in a wonderful way even for a stories like for a concept of teaching a concept of addition and uh, subtraction also can be teach in online classes through story we can use the animation and if you see the uh, and for community like in communication through the different strategies like peer learning or theme pair share so by uh, applying different strategies you know children uh, and hands-on experience it's uh, it really helped and love for, for life skills sometimes you know uh, like during dispersal when children are standing and waiting so what i used to do like my children i used to ask children to see all the transport and see the number plates the numbers are written so to teach the number concept you know which number is bigger or which number is smaller comparing numbers and addition whatever like four digit numbers if i should tell my children add all the numbers how much is the total you know this is a the real application of what they have learned in the classroom so these are the different strategies we follow in our classroom for this math yeah. teaching math concepts. Yes, yeah, so they're nice to hear from, about all this uh, Chitra map. And uh, you know, uh, it did involve all the uh, a little bit of the life skills in terms of collaboration. It involved, uh, you know, uh, it, it involved team building uh some sort of taking initiative then it also involved uh, literacy but literacy in terms of you know understanding the information itself there are different types of literacy you know one is like you just understand the information by reading itself there is uh, literacy related to media also you know even all the things that are available in media there might be uh, it could be even covid related graph or covid related statistics that is there in the media how do you interpret that how do you understand that what questions you need to ask about that the technology related uh, uh, you know literacy in terms of if you want to browse something or if you come across some certain kind of uh, perhaps um, uh, something some excerpt on whatsapp how do you test like whether the uh, news is true whether the fact is true or it, is it fake how do you identify that all those involve literacy skills to an extent and the learning skills of uh, you know uh, critically analyzing what kind of uh, uh, data i mean is present in front of you uh, whether uh, if you are supposed measuring uh, then uh, within that measuring, uh, you know, what is the unit you have to take? Because there, on the measuring tape, there can be, uh, it can be in terms of inches, it can be in terms of meters, right. uh, which one is the most, uh, most uh, I mean, which one should you use for measuring the height, right. uh, which, which one is uh, mostly uh, in which like the height is given? Yeah, standard, standard units, non-standard standard units. units. 
yeah so, so uh, we uh, we uh, we also plan like we do activities competition so in competition we uh, include maths subjects and different topics we give children uh, either to make a chart or get some data or also like uh, some projects like a green school project or tata power project where we ask children to get the data like electricity bill or and yes. then they do all this children are involved in such activities where they get to learn and apply their what the classroom learning which they have learned okay that's really great to hear uh, any other ideas anybody else would they like to share any ideas for developing 21st century skills learning literacy and life skills together Okay, so what we are going to do, if no one is sharing, I'm going to stop the share. And I was thinking maybe we can divide ourselves into um, breakout rooms. And yeah, let me check if I have the option for the breakout room here. Yeah, I do have. So we will divide into breakout rooms and uh, we will have five people in the breakout room. Okay. Uh, And uh, we will come up with an uh, activity which involves all these three skills, learning skills, literacy skills, and life skills, okay? And you have to identify which of these skills are getting built and uh, how they are getting built in your activity. So you have to think of some activity related to uh, mathematics where learning skills, life skills, and literacy skills, all these three are getting developed, okay? So I'm going to open up the breakout rooms. We are going to uh, do it for around, um, I would say 10 to 15 minutes, and then we will come back, we will share and uh, end the call after that, okay? So welcome back, all of you. Yeah. I hope uh, you had a very good discussion uh, in your uh, breakout rooms. Yes. And, uh, now we would like to hear uh, what are the activities that you discussed if you came up with any interesting activity. So Gurnali Das, would you like to go first? Okay. So we decided a birthday party, um, birthday party planning. And in that we will be giving an activity where the students will be deciding what is the total cost. And, we, and they will be calculating the percentage also. Like what will be the cost of the ice cream, chocolate, a cake and or uh, samosas, whatever they like. And then we will be do, uh, doing a data collection also, like how many people voted for which flavor. That way you can make a bar chart or a uh, graph, like with the most favorite item or most favorite ice cream of the students. And then yeah. we can cost analysis also we can do, like, uh, like per head, what is the average cost of each plate? Hmm. Okay, and in that way they, uh, they will be learning about the costing percentage, average, graph, bar charts, okay, pie chart also. Okay, that uh -huh. will give you a clear idea and that they can apply at their home also because everyone will be having, arranging at least a birthday party once or other in, in the year. So life skills maybe we can use kar sakte Application is yeah. we have a very wide application. Yes, so life skills I can uh, see. What are the life skills you are focusing on? Let me read out what were the life skills that were there in that uh, PPT. Life skills and is uh, man, uh, cost management. It's a costing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then uh, planning, event planning. That is one life skill. Then yeah. pooling, collection of data. Yes. Also, okay. So, yeah. And crowd I, management. And uh, what are the literacies that you are developing? In mass, we'll be developing a percentage, how to calculate percentage, average, like a per plate. What Those are not concepts. So this is conceptual learning. So this hmm. you are calling about, this would be learning skills. So within learning skill, what are the conceptual ideas? And these are all percentage, cost and everything. Literacy would be, you know, the uh, literacy for reading a graph, literacy for reading a... Um, you know uh, what you will be representing the different uh, choices or different preferences of ice cream in form of a graph 
uh, being able to read the graph, being able to make the graph, that would be literacy. So it will be a graphical literacy that you are developing. It would be literacy about being able to identify, you know, uh, what is the, uh, whether one is making profit or loss if, uh, uh, you know, one is um, buying it in bulk or buying it in a certain quantity. So those kind of literacies are developed here. Okay. Time management be rahega ki kam yes. budget me or kam uh, usme uh, kam time me kaise achche se achcha kar sakte hai or mm -hmm. ye bhi hai or achievement bhi main so soch rahi hu add one more yes yes sure uh, uh, you were asking about skills uh, i think uh, one uh, most important skill to respect each other okay. means uh, one is uh, sharing her taste and other is sharing other taste so we are respecting each other yes definitely definitely so that is a very important skill very good uh, yeah anything else you want to uh, add bernali das ma'am i think interpretation because we will be having a pie chart so okay. that way even visual skills you can say by looking the pie chart the student can make out or the yeah. uh, so even interpretation skills uh, align with the visual skills. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, I was wondering, you know, creativity. How do you develop creativity in mathematics? Do you see any creativity here or develop it? Mathematical creativity. It's not the creativity of drawing. It's mathematical creativity. Do you see any creativity Not really. Okay. <laughs> Uh, would anybody else like to comment on this? Mathematical creativity, how can we develop in this situation where we are planning a planning of birthday? There is one point I would like to add. Like we have given yes. the costing. So like vanilla, the flavor of vanilla ice cream is less and butterscotch is, is more. That way, costing may be kind of okay, uh, mathematical creativity because the budget has been fixed. So in that project, yes. we have to uh, get the maximum best resources available. Yes, exactly. So if you have a budget of 100 rupees per person, so mm -hmm. within that 100 rupees, how uh, do you get the maximum variety and uh, something which satisfies uh, majority of the people? Because you have already taken preferences from different people. So you know their preferences so that the uh, majority of people's preferences is also uh, uh, catered and you are able to add variety within that 100 rupees itself so if too many people you know want something which is very fancy and very expensive so you can have one of that item but then you will have to get uh, other small small items which are at a cheaper rate or you can have you know five different variety of things which are at a uh, you know if the uh, cost uh, the budget you have decided is 100 rupees per person then you can have 20, 20, you can have five different items for 20 rupees, or you can buy something which is, you know, like 50 rupees for a pastry, but then uh, you can add only um, uh, two or three items. Maybe it can be chips or maybe it can be something. So that is where the creativity is. Mathematical creativity is coming. It's very nice. Yeah. Okay, Ankish Tirpude, please go ahead, share whatever also, you want. Uh... What I feel that for in terms of mathematical creativity, uh, combo packages can also be designed where yeah. you have uh, a bunch of things uh, depend, but it is the challenge will be that it is e equal to all means if you pick this package or this package, it's equal. So I think if you get the preferences uh, earlier and then later on, you can decide it, this package is also it is, it will be uh, next add on to this birthday party then. Yeah, very good. Thank That's you. also a creativity. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, and maybe we can have a quiz questions and uh, as a takeaway something, you know, as a, it's a birthday party. So hmm. that's what they can plan out what, what they have learned and what they did. So <laughs> you can have a quiz. I'm that. not sure if kids, kids would like to have a quiz at their birthday party. They would like to be more then free free. They will be they will get rewards, you know, at yeah. stars yeah. or something. Maybe you have to design the quiz in such a way that it doesn't feel like you are learning mathematics. Yes. You are you are having some sort of fun. Right. In a fun way. Yeah. That is also where you can apply your 
teaching creativity. Yes. Yeah. So let's hear from other groups also. Uh, the second group, would you like to share? Second group. I think there was one group with uh, Shravanti ma'am, one group was there with uh, Hemanti, and uh, they were thinking about um, uh, the electricity bill. Can these groups also please share their ideas? Actually, uh, ma'am, we are in room number two. Um, yes, our yes. group had an idea about uh, how to uh, uh, increase, uh, sorry, in, uh, make interest to the students who has uh, special abilities in learning and the, uh, outcomes. Yes, so, yes. Uh, now I remember case, it was uh, about, yeah, different abilities, special yeah. ability students, yes, how you, yes, you can develop sure. all these skills for them also and activity. So were you yes. able to think of something? Yes, sir has an idea, ma'am. Uh, Nikesh, sir has an idea. I think it's better if he shares uh, that idea. Yeah, Ankesh, please share. Yeah, so recently we have participated in this national competition called Twikathon, which was organized by the government of India. And there was one uh, special category in which we took interest and submitted a model on magnetism, but it was basically of mathematics, where we have used this small, small magnets, attractive and repulsive mode, and the model what self itself it get rebuilt because of repulsion it won't get attract any piece so the peop, so the student gets feel of okay it's in a repulsive mode then if you pick the proper uh, that balls where the magnets has been attached it then it get attracted so it was not very complex but just to get an idea what's a particular pattern gets built and uh, with respect to the mathematical creativity we have some angles to this attachments where it's have orientation in one specific direction or another. So depending upon the students, we can modify it. And also we can tone it down with the regular students or those slow learners and this. So this was very small thought we have submitted last, uh, I think uh, it, it's nearly six months uh, ago, but still we enjoyed making that activity. I'm sorry, I was mute. Uh, I think great. this is a great idea and I, I'm happy to hear that you enjoyed making that because teachers should create uh, more yeah, and more you. activities for their students. Uh, would you like to uh, elaborate a little bit for our audience here, uh, you know, how it will help special children? Because I think that is what your main problem was. They decided that uh, you want to make something for special children. Yeah, yeah. means uh, if, I, if we were very specific, to the that we were having one teacher from one of the school and mm -hmm. she was very specific for the for the children who can't see so the yeah. magnetic attraction and repulsion i was trying to uh, use this property to understand what is repulsion and what is attraction and also if if they are not able to see but they can come up with some of the uh, say orientation of the balls or the marbles yeah. yes so this was what a core idea not to understand the attraction or repulsion but to feel it and to make something yes. so that at least by the feel they can have orientation in one direction it's very simple you can have yeah. orientation in one so direction. not only i would say not only blind students even yes. students who cannot hear correct, you know, correct, correct. even they can uh, you know see this and uh, be yes. interested because this is something that is that they can feel yes, they can correct, see correct, and correct. Uh, you know they can try and to also, articulate what they uh, have understood. if it is an yeah. inclusive class if it's an yeah. inclusive class where we have a group of people or the students so, so they can be distributed. So like that, huh. as you mentioned, so we can, so I was not up to that level, but my team developed it slowly. And then we slowly got an idea. Okay. So we use kar sakte hain. Yeah. And then we make a small clip. I, I, I would love to share that YouTube. Please do share everyone. it in our uh, school yeah. synergy teachers forum group. Sure, the sure. Telegram and also group. on telegram group. Uh, yes. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, please do share Thank it you. there. Yeah, so let us hear from the third group also quickly now. Uh, Rishwan, ma'am, I think you were there. Hey, Manti, ma'am. Yeah, go ma ahead. I think uh, Chitra, ma'am, can describe it better. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Rishwan, ma'am, if you can share, ma'am. Rishwan, ma'am. Rishwan, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, ma ma Chitra, ma'am, will say more about it. 
इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल का तो वो बिल शी से सजेस्टेड दैट वी कैन आस चिल्ड्रेन टू गेट देयर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल एंड इन द क्लासरूम टू मंथ्स का बिल लेके आने के लिए बोल वी कैन आस चिल्ड्रेन टू ब्रिंग देयर टू मंथ्स बिल सो विथ दैट वी कैन टेल उनको कंपेयर कर सकते हैं कि प्रीवियस मंथ और प्रेजेंट मंथ में किसका पावर कंजप्शन ज्यादा हुआ है बिल ज्यादा हुआ है तो वे एक कंपेरिजन कॉन्सेप्ट सिखा सकते हैं एंड फिर हम एक और सिखा सकते हैं कि बच्चों को पूछेंगे कि हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक अप्लायसेज आर देयर इन देयर होम सो डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक अप्लायसेज टू गेट डाउन देयर नेम्स एंड हाउ मच पावर इज कंज्यूम बाय ईच अप्लायसेज सो विथ दिस दे कैन लर्न With this ki total amount of power consumed in that month and out of that total power by amount uh, how much is consumed each so a division concept see okay, okay. सकते हैं वो division concept चलो and आराम करो and then you need different तो plug word को निकाल के रखें ना अपन ने हाँ अंकेश uh, you are uh, sorry you sorry, are really unmute. sorry yeah sorry yeah. And Go then, ahead, Chitra ma'am. Yes, and then conversion of uh, units. It's a conversion. So the units, so literacy, uh, different type of appliances. They can now learn reading out the am amount of energy consumed. That is also included in the literacy. And uh, this like a different units. Uh, and then um, and and then the this. Uh, Life skill. So in life skill, they can learn a uh, different type. Ki how can what are the other alternatives to generate electricity? We can teach them. You know nowadays people are we are converting into solar energy. So to how to save it? First we can teach the life skill like saving of electricity is very important. So making them like switch off when you are not in the room, switching off. lights and fan and then uh, get uh, what are the different uh, ways we can generate electricity like the soul uh, renewable and non renewable you know inclusion of uh, science so a little bit of environmental science and all that we can include and um, like ma'am said विश्वन मैम ने बताया कि वी कैन टीच देम टू पे थ्रू मोबाइल जी पे गूगल पे टी एम एंड दूज ऑफ यू नो नाउ वट इज क्यू आर स्कैन सो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल में एक क्यू आर स्कैन क्यू आर कोड भी आता है तो बच्चों हाउ टू स्कैन एंड हाउ कैन यू कैन मेक द पेमेंट सिटिंग एट होम यू डोंट नीड टू गो टू द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ऑफिस एंड पे सो दिस आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ लाइफ दिस इज आल्सो अ काइंड ऑफ लिटरेसी दैट स्टूडेंट्स कैन डेवलप यूजिंग क्यूआर टेक्नोलॉजिकल लिटरेसी हाउ टू यूज अ क्यूआर राइट क्यूआर कोड यस nowadays a uh, lot of governments are also started putting qr code in their textbooks which right, yes students can just scan and uh, you know watch videos related to that so that right. this kind of technological literacy can also be get uh, built yeah. right right yes. yeah. so uh, i think all three all groups, about yeah so i think all three groups have come up with very uh, nice and authentic activities and it would be really nice if uh, some of you actually also implemented in your classroom and share your experience about it it was a really i would say fruitful uh, designing session and uh, one of the best sessions so far in terms of design yeah thank you ma'am thank you chitra ma'am <laughs> for yeah. explaining thank you ma'am Aap, uh, aapne bhi bahut acche idea diye <laughs> yeah thank you so much thank you yeah. shravanti please uh, go ahead you want to speak Ah uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, you are saying that if teachers would have implemented, so we have implemented couple of things. The electricity part, which Chitra ma'am said, we did it when we have implemented the solar panels in our school. Ah, uh, so we did this activity. Ah, uh, our children uh, went ahead, collected the bills, we calculated this. So we did the solar activity. Ah, uh, in our school, and uh, regarding uh, specially aided children, ah, uh, we have designed and. Uh, Uh, came up with the eight uh, uh, geometrical reasoning eight where uh, we did the activities with uh, matchsticks and uh, cycle rubber tubes. So uh, connecting them with uh, different kinds of shapes where you can if they are very flexible you can mold it and they become any other shape. So showing them about the uh, 
the properties of each shape. So we have come up with those things. We have already implemented in the classes. So a children who has a, 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 any kind of a problem in a, a, a earning a, a, a regarding the properties can learn through this uh, aids, this kind of an aid where they can touch, feel, and uh, uh, explore it. Yeah. So thank I think you. that these are wonderful ideas. And thank you all the teachers for sharing uh, these ideas with all of us here. And uh, again, this uh, uh, session is also being recorded and it would be released on uh, YouTube. So you can even suggest others to watch this session and uh, uh, spread your ideas further. I have posted a link of feedback form also on the group. Uh, yeah. uh, Ma'am, uh, I have just shared one link uh, just now, a few sometimes back, okay. I was going through that some of the parents were asking, uh, like they are facing, uh, the children are facing problem in learning different concepts, the pre maths concept or like uh, number accounting and, and addition the basic concepts so i found this wonderful link uh, shared in one of the group uh, yeah. that does a progression of number concept division multiplication so if if anyone want they can refer this uh, you can go uh, through with this so this will yes. really help us yeah thank you so much chitra rola ma'am for sharing this i will also copy and post it in the uh, telegram group because we have lots of teachers there right okay so i'll do that and uh, meanwhile you can all fill up the feedback form and that's it the end of the session uh, so next week uh, we would not be having a school synergy uh, session per se but but it would be in a form of school synergy uh, but i am giving a talk in uh, uh, another uh, institute it is saint xavier institute of education in mumbai and um, i suggest the, all the teachers to just join that session itself next week because since i would be there uh, in that session it would not be possible for me to host a school synergy session it will it will be from 4 pm to 6 pm and i will share the poster in the uh, telegram group itself with all of you Okay, so I think I'll end the session here itself. We'll meet again next week in uh, where I'll be taking a session in St. Xavier Institute of Education. It will be online itself. I'll share the link with all of you on Telegram. Okay, okay. so bye for now. See you again next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.